if you use grub as your boot loader you'll see that it's very plain and you know it's just straight to the point which is how you know many people would probably want it to be but if you want it to look more interesting more modern you can actually do that and setting the theme is really really easy so this method is by doing it obviously you know manually but some people do provide scripts within their uh, themes to to help you move them and set everything up but to do it through the terminal yourself is not too bad so let's say you get your theme here this is just an example um, some anime theme uh, you download it right and once you download it and have extracted it you move the theme folder containing all the theme information to um, slash boot slash grub slash themes and I'll show you because I have a few here so I have uh, three I use arch silence which is I think my favorite one here um, but anyway uh, once you've done that you would do a edit of this file right type in your password obviously you would um, edit this as root the grub file inside of the etc default uh, uh, folder so uh, let's see I guess I typed a little too fast okay. alright so if we scroll down and be very careful when you edit this to not break things here you would change this line to be the the theme folder of your choosing which you just installed and then theme.txt this is how it links all of it here uh, you it doesn't have to be in this uh, in this uh, location it can be outside of the boot uh, folder but when you do that you'll open the the possibility of like it being exploited and you know it's just security reasons so just and also as a general convention I guess it's done here you know in this folder in this file path here so just try to keep it here within boot grub themes put your theme folder uh, within that this folder here and then uh, once you've done that control X to save and then you will rebuild your um, your grub configuration file here and let's see it happening here you can see it generating it so just uh, output it out to that directory, the slash boot slash grub. And you'll see here, if you've done everything correctly, it will output this saying found theme. And it will show the uh, the link to your, to your theme that you just set. So it's really easy, really straightforward. And um, if you're also kind of paranoid about running scripts, I mean, but I doubt that, you know, in, in most cases you'll find some sort of strange things happening in in themes like this because uh, you can open the the script and see for yourself what it's doing but um if you just want to do it manually this is how it would be done so that's about it i hope you found this useful